burn the food that you cook it. That you cook it. And everything in the fryer. Don't add fuel to the fire. Don't add fuel to the fire. Hey boo, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see here, my hair is looking crusty and dusty and it's time for a wash day. So before we go ahead and get on into that, just wanna remind you to make sure you are subscribed to my channel down below and you click the bell notification so you are notified of all my upcoming videos. All right, let's get on into it. So I like to start off my wash days with pre-pooing. And so before I go on in and do that, I wanna make sure I separate my hair into four sections. So starting by separating down the middle and then separating out the front sections from the back sections. So I'm gonna clip this front one away and then clip away this back section that I won't be working with before going in and focusing on the one section that I will be working with. So I'm gonna start by getting this section nice and wet. And before I go in and add my pre-poo products, I wanna make sure that I have a towel so that I'm not getting messy and wet. So grab that and we're just gonna get right on into it. So as with any product application, you wanna make sure you're starting from roots to tips. So we're gonna apply our pre-poo product to our roots and then work that on down, finger detangling our hair as we go. So the one benefit that I love about pre-pooing is that I'm able to focus on each individual strand and individual knots that I have in my hair. So you just see me here just taking my time to work out that knot separating each individual strand before finishing up with this section, clipping it up and moving on to the next section. So I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I have to get every drop of product. So we're doing that here and then going in and again, applying this from root to tips and working this into our hair. So as I was mentioning, you really wanna make sure you take your time to finger detangle and remove any knots you may come across safely, which is why I really don't like to use any combs at this step, especially when my hair is so dry and tangled. So I'm gonna keep working through and making sure I remove those knots, separating my hair out when I need to, to further focus on those individual sections. So you see me just finger detangling and working in that pre-poo product, making sure that my hair is completely detangled from roots to tips before I move on to the next section. So as I mentioned, finger detangling does help to reduce shedding and breakage, which is what you saw there. And so we're just gonna finish up with this front section and clip this away before we go ahead and head on into the shower. So in the shower, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse off all of that pre-poo product and then we are gonna go right in with shampooing. So I like to, again, apply this starting from roots to tips and I really like to work my shampoo in the same way I work in my pre-poo. So really working in that into the roots and working it down the shaft of my hair. So as you can see, I'm going in and making sure to vigorously clean this section before I go through and actually rinse it off so even as you're rinsing off that product you really want to make sure that you're maintaining the detangled state of your hair while also removing all of the product from each strand so we're gonna move on to our next section again just rinsing out the pre-poo before we go into the shampooing process and then we are gonna jump right on into applying this so I left this clip in real time so that you can see exactly how I like to shampoo my hair so how much pressure I'm using how fast I'm going and as you can see I like to take my time adding in water and making sure that I'm really getting a good lather before before going in and rinsing off this product so I'm just working that in making sure to pay special attention to my edges before going through and finishing up with the length of my hair so we're just gonna finish running my fingers through focusing on the scalp and really separating my hair to make sure that I am properly and thoroughly cleaning it from roots to tips 
so we're gonna wash this off making sure again to thoroughly rinse off all of this product and actually realize afterward that I had it so just a quick tip to make sure you do that before you move on to your next step so we're just gonna go right on in with deep conditioning and again we're just going to apply this from roots to tips utilizing various methods including the praying hands method and also some light finger detangling and scalp massaging to really work that product in after our shampoo so you want to make sure that you're really running your fingers through and properly coating again every strand of hair so that it is properly ready to go in to the next step so we're just going to continue working this product in separating our hair and thoroughly coating each strand before we move on to the next step so don't forget your scalp and if you are low porosity like me you want to make sure that you are utilizing a plastic bag to really trap in that heat and really lock in that moisturizing process so that's what you see me doing here securing the bag <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to come back and just rinse that out. So I left this on for about 10 minutes as the directions had stated. And as you can see, after I rinse this out, my hair is just looking shiny. It's looking supple and ready for styling. So we're just going to continue on with the next side of my hair, just really rinsing this out before we move on to another crucial step. And that is adding leave-in conditioner. So as I mentioned, I am low porosity as we found out in a recent video. And so a key to moisturizing low porosity hair is making sure you're adding your leave-in conditioner in the shower. So that's what you see me doing here, just making sure I am properly coating each section of my hair and every strand of my hair with leave-in conditioner before going through and moving on to the next side. So I'm gonna add leave-in conditioner to the other side of my hair, again, making sure to work that in from roots to tips, while again, paying some special attention to my scalp to make sure that I am getting that fully moisturized and again, prepared for styling. So we're gonna finish this up and then I am going to head on into the styling process. So this is actually the next day. I was tired after all of that. So I just came back the next day and we're gonna get into styling. So I split my hair into, again, four sections and then applying some water, making sure my hair is a little moist. Today I am going in with two different creams because I am doing a protective style. So I'm going to just add both of those to one section of my hair, making sure that I'm working that in utilizing the print hands method and applying that product from root to tips and then adding that second cream right on top before I go in and start detangling my hair so since I will be doing two braids I wanted to make sure my hair was properly detangled before going in and getting started with that so you just see me working with this Felicia Leatherwood brush just really making sure to detangle my hair before I get started with the next section so I'm gonna clip this section up and we're gonna move on to the next section again adding water going in with our creams and then going in with the detangling process so utilizing that Felicia Leatherwood brush to really detangle safely without breakage or losing any hair and then before I went into the actual braiding process I did add a little bit of flaxseed gel just to catch any flyaways since I was planning to keep this in for a couple of days and then you just see me splitting my hair into three sections and we're just gonna be doing some little Meek Mill pop smoke braids straight back. So don't get on me, I am not the strongest braider and I know that I braid in and not out, but we're just gonna continue doing that, making sure to detangle as we go and then we're just gonna complete our braids. So you just wanna braid all the way down and making sure to detangle as you go until you get to the end and then twist that up. And so you have one braid and I completed the other one off camera. And this is our style for the week. So 
that is our fall wash day, simple wash day routine and style. So thank you for joining me. And before you go, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye boo. Take a sip, take a sip, take a sip, take a sip, take a sip. You deserve it. You deserve it. You know you're worth it.